zero, zero, is both a number and the numerical digit used to represent that number in numerals. The number zero fulfills a central role in mathematics as the additive identity of the integers, real numbers, and many other algebraic structures. As a digit, zero is used as a placeholder in place value systems. Names for the number zero in English include zero, not, UK, not, US, slash N, T slash, nil, or in contexts where at least one adjacent digit distinguishes it from the letter OO or O, slash O, slash. Informal or slang terms for zero include zilch and zip. Ot and ot, slash, T slash, as well as cipher, have also been used historically. Etymology Main articles, names for the number zero and names for the number zero in English. The word zero came into the English language via French zero from Italian zero, Italian contraction of Venetian's zero form of Italian zafiro via, afira or, ifr. In pre-Islamic time the word, ifr, Arabic, had the meaning empty. Sif revolved to mean zero when it was used to translate sunya, Sanskrit, from India. The first known English use of zero was in 1598. The Italian mathematician Fibonacci, c. 1170-1250, who grew up in North Africa and is credited with introducing the decimal system to Europe, used the term Zephyrum. This became Zafiro in Italian, and was then contracted to zero in Venetian. The Italian word Zafiro was already in existence, meaning west wind from Latin and Greek Zephyrus, and may have influenced the spelling when transcribing Arabic, IFR. Modern Usage There are different words used for the number or concept of zero depending on the context. For the simple notion of lacking, the words nothing and none are often used. Sometimes the words not, not, and ought are used. Several sports have specific words for zero, such as nil in association football, soccer, love in tennis, and duck in cricket. It is often called O in the context of telephone numbers. Slang words for zero include zip, zilch, nada, and scratch. Duck egg and goose egg are also slang for zero. History Ancient Near East NFR and NBSP Heart with trachea beautiful, pleasant, good. Ancient Egyptian numerals were base 10. They used hieroglyphs for the digits and were not positional. By 1770 and NBSP, BC, the Egyptians had a symbol for zero in accounting texts. The symbol NFR, meaning beautiful, was also used to indicate the base level and drawings of tombs and pyramids and distances were measured relative to the baseline as being above or below this line. By the middle of the second millennium BC, the Babylonian mathematics had a sophisticated sexagesimal positional numeral system. The lack of a positional value, or zero, was indicated by a space between sexagesimal numerals. By 300 and NBSP, BC, a punctuation symbol, two slanted wedges, was co-opted as a placeholder in the same Babylonian system. In a tablet unearthed at Kish, dating from about 700 and NBSP, BC, the scribe Belbanaplu wrote his zeros with three hooks, rather than two slanted wedges. The Babylonian placeholder was not a true zero because it was not used alone. Nor was it used at the end of a number. Thus numbers like 2 and 120, 2, 60, 3 and 180, 3, 60, 4 and 240, 4, 60, looked the same because the larger numbers lacked a final sexagesimal placeholder. Only context could differentiate them. Pre-Columbian Americas the back of AP Almex de la C from Trace Zapotes, the second oldest long count date discovered. The numerals 7.16.6.16.18 translate to September, 32 and NBSP, BC, Julian. The glyphs surrounding the date are thought to be one of the few surviving examples of AP Almex script. The Mesoamerican long count calendar developed in South Central Mexico and Central America required the use of zero as a placeholder within its vigesimal, base 20, positional numeral system. Many different glyphs, including this partial caterfoil were used as a zero symbol for these long count dates, the earliest of which, 
on Stila 2 at Cayapa de Corzo, Chiapas, has a date of 36 and NBSP, BC. Since the eight earliest long count dates appear outside the Maya homeland, it is generally believed that the use of zero in the Americas predated the Maya and was possibly the invention of the Almecs. Many of the earliest long count dates were found within the Almec heartland, although the Almec civilization ended by the 4th century BC, several centuries before the earliest known long count dates. Although zero became an integral part of Maya numerals, with a different, empty tortoise-like shell shape used for many depictions of the zero numeral, it is assumed to have not influenced old world numeral systems. Kipu, a knotted cord device, used in the Inca Empire and its predecessor societies in the Andean region to record accounting and other digital data, is encoded in a base 10 positional system. Zero is represented by the absence of a knot in the appropriate position. Classical Antiquity The ancient Greeks had no symbol for zero, and did not use a digit placeholder for it. They seemed unsure about the status of zero as a number. They asked themselves, how can nothing be something, leading to philosophical and, by the medieval period, religious arguments about the nature and existence of zero and the vacuum. The paradoxes of Zeno of Elia depend in large part on the uncertain interpretation of zero. Example of the early Greek symbol for zero, lower right corner, from a 2nd century papyrus. By 130 and NBSP, A.D., Ptolemy, influenced by Hipparchus and the Babylonians, was using a symbol for zero, a small circle with a long overbar, in his work on mathematical astronomy called the Syntaxis Mathematica, also known as the Almagest. The way in which it is used can be seen in his table of chords in that book. Ptolemy's zero was used within a sexagesimal numeral system otherwise using alphabetic Greek numerals. Because it was used alone, not just as a placeholder, this Hellenistic zero was perhaps the earliest documented use of a numeral representing zero in the old world. However, the positions were usually limited to the fractional part of a number, called minutes, seconds, thirds, fourths, etc. They were not used for the integral part of a number, indicating a concept perhaps better expressed as none, rather than zero in the modern sense. In later Byzantine manuscripts of Ptolemy's Almagest, the Hellenistic zero had morphed into the Greek letter Omicron, otherwise meaning 70. Another zero was used in tables alongside Roman numerals by 525, first known use by Dionysius Exegius, but as a word, nulla meaning nothing, not as a symbol. When division produced zero as a remainder, nihil, also meaning nothing, was used. These medieval zeros were used by all future medieval calculators of Easter. The initial N was used as a zero symbol in a table of Roman numerals by Bede or his colleagues around and NBSP, 725. China This is a depiction of zero expressed in Chinese counting rods, based on the example provided by A History of Mathematics. An empty space is used to represent zero. The Sunzi Swanjing of unknown date but estimated to be dated from the 1st to 5th centuries AD, and Japanese records dated from the 18th and NBSP, century, describe how the C 4th century BC Chinese counting rods system enables one to perform decimal calculations. According to A History of Mathematics, the rods gave the decimal representation of a number, with an empty space denoting zero. The counting rod system is considered a positional notation system. In AD 690, Empress Wu promulgated Zacian characters, one of which was. The symbol zero for denoting zero is a variation of this character. Zero was not treated as a number at that time, but as a vacant position. Qin Zhu Shao's 1247 mathematical treatise in nine sections is the oldest surviving Chinese mathematical text using a round symbol for zero. Chinese authors had been familiar with the idea of negative numbers by the Han Dynasty, 2nd century AD, as seen in the nine chapters on the mathematical art. India Pingala, c 3 rd 2 nd century BC, a Sanskrit prosody scholar, used binary numbers in the form of short and long syllables, the latter equal in length to two short syllables, a notation similar to Morse code. Pingala used the Sanskrit word sunya explicitly to refer to zero. 
it was considered that the earliest text to use a decimal place value system, including a zero, is the Lokavibhaga, a Jain text on cosmology surviving in a medieval Sanskrit translation of the Prakrit original, which is internally dated to AD and NBSP, 458, Sakha era 380. In this text, Sunya, void, empty, is also used to refer to zero. A symbol for zero, a large dot likely to be the precursor of the still current hollow symbol, is used throughout the Bakshali manuscript, a practical manual on arithmetic for merchants. In 2017 three samples from the manuscript were shown by radiocarbon dating to come from three different centuries, from 224 to 383 AD, 680 to 779 AD, and 885 to 993 AD making it the world's oldest recorded use of the zero symbol. It is not known how the birch bark fragments from different centuries that form the manuscript came to be packaged together. The origin of the modern decimal-based place value notation can be traced to the Ariab Hadiya, C and NBSP, 500, which states Tanit Stana. Dasagu, A. Syat from place to place each is ten times the preceding. The concept of zero as a digit in the decimal place value notation was developed in India, presumably as early as during the Gupta period, c. 5th century, with the oldest unambiguous evidence dating to the 7th and NBSP, century. The rules governing the use of zero appeared for the first time in Brahmagupta s Brahmasbhata Siddhanta, 7th and NBSP, century. This work considers not only zero, but also negative numbers and the algebraic rules for the elementary operations of arithmetic with such numbers. In some instances, his rules differ from the modern standard, specifically the definition of the value of zero divided by zero as zero. Epigraphy The number 605 in Khmer numerals, from the Sambor inscription, Sakha era 605 corresponds to AD and NBSP, 683. The earliest known material use of zero as a decimal figure. There are numerous copper plate inscriptions, with the same small o in them, some of them possibly dated to the 6th and NBSP, century, but their date or authenticity may be open to doubt. A stone tablet found in the ruins of a temple near Sambor on the Mekong, Krati Province, Cambodia, includes the inscription of 605 in Khmer numerals a set of numeral glyphs for the Hindu-Arabic numeral system. The number is the year of the inscription in the Sakha era, corresponding to a date of AD and NBSP, 683. The first known use of special glyphs for the decimal digits that includes the indubitable appearance of a symbol for the digit zero, a small circle, appears on a stone inscription found at the Shaturbhuja temple at Gwalior in India, dated 876. Zero is also used as a placeholder in the Bakshali manuscript, portions of which date from AD 224-383. Middle Ages Transmission to Islamic Culture See also, History of the Hindu-Arabic Numeral System The Arabic language inheritance of science was largely Greek, followed by Hindu influences. In 773, at Almansur s behest, Translations were made of many ancient treatises including Greek, Roman, Indian, and others. In AD 813, astronomical tables were prepared by a Persian mathematician, Mu, Ahmad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, using Hindu numerals, and about 825, he published a book synthesizing Greek and Hindu knowledge and also contained his own contribution to mathematics including an explanation of the use of zero. This book was later translated into Latin in the 12th and NBSP, century under the title Algorithmi de Numero Indurum. This title means al Khwarizmi on the numerals of the Indians. The word Algorithmi was the translator's Latinization of al Khwarizmi's name, and the word algorithm or algorithm started meaning any arithmetic based on decimals. Muhammad ibn Ahmad al Khwarizmi, in 976, stated that if no number appears in the place of tens in a calculation, a little circle should be used to keep the rows. This circle was called, IFR. Transmission to Europe The Hindu-Arabic numeral system, base 10, reached Europe in the 11th century, 
via Al-Andalus through Spanish Muslims, the Moors, together with knowledge of astronomy and instruments like the astrolabe, first imported by Gerbert of Aurillac. For this reason, the numerals came to be known in Europe as Arabic numerals. The Italian mathematician Fibonacci or Leonardo of Pisa was instrumental in bringing the system into European mathematics in 1202, stating, After my father's appointment by his homeland as state official in the customs house of Bugia for the Pison merchants who thronged to it, he took charge, and in view of its future usefulness and convenience, had me in my boyhood come to him and there wanted me to devote myself to and be instructed in the study of calculation for some days. There, Following my introduction, as a consequence of marvelous instruction in the art, to the nine digits of the Hindus, the knowledge of the art very much appealed to me before all others, and for it I realized that all its aspects were studied in Egypt, Syria, Greece, Sicily, and Provence, with their varying methods, and at these places thereafter, while on business. I pursued my study in depth and learned the give and take of disputation. But all this even, and the algorithm, as well as the art of Pythagoras, I considered as almost a mistake in respect to the method of the Hindus, modus interim. Therefore, embracing more stringently that method of the Hindus, and taking stricter pains in its study, while adding certain things from my own understanding and inserting also certain things from the niceties of Euclid's geometric art, I have striven to compose this book in its entirety as understandably as I could, dividing it into fifteen chapters. Almost everything which I have introduced I have displayed with exact proof, in order that those further seeking this knowledge, with its preeminent method, might be instructed, and further, in order that the Latin people might not be discovered to be without it, as they have been up to now. If I have perchance omitted anything more or less proper or necessary, I beg indulgence, since there is no one who is blameless and utterly provident in all things. The nine Indian figures are, 9876543211. With these nine figures, and with the sign 0 and NBSP, any number may be written. Here Leonardo of Pisa uses the phrase sign 0, indicating it is like a sign to do operations like addition or multiplication. From the 13th and NBSP, century, manuals on calculation, adding, multiplying, extracting roots, etc became common in Europe where they were called algorithmus after the Persian mathematician Al-Khwarizmi. The most popular was written by Johannes de Sacrobosco, about 1235 and was one of the earliest scientific books to be printed in 1488. Until the late 15th and NBSP, century, Hindu Arabic numerals seem to have predominated among mathematicians, while merchants preferred to use the Roman numerals. In the 16th and NBSP, century, they became commonly used in Europe. Mathematics Zero is the integer immediately preceding one. Zero is an even number because it is divisible by two with no remainder. Zero is neither positive nor negative. Many definitions include zero as a natural number, and then the only natural number not to be positive. Zero is a number which quantifies a count or an amount of null size. In most cultures, zero was identified before the idea of negative things, or quantities less than zero, was accepted. The value, or number, zero is not the same as the digit zero, used in numeral systems using positional notation. Successive positions of digits have higher weights, so inside a numeral the digit zero is used to skip a position and give appropriate weights to the preceding and following digits. A zero digit is not always necessary in a positional number system, for example, in the number 02. In some instances, a leading zero may be used to distinguish a number. Elementary algebra. The number zero is the smallest non-negative integer. The natural number following zero is one and no natural number precedes zero. The number zero may or may not be considered a natural number, but it is an integer and hence a rational number and a real number, as well as an algebraic number and a complex number. The number zero is neither positive nor negative and is usually displayed as the central number in a number line. It is neither a prime number nor a composite number. It cannot be prime because it has an infinite number of factors, 
and cannot be composite because it cannot be expressed as a product of prime numbers, zero must always be one of the factors. Zero is, however, even, i.e. a multiple of two, as well as being a multiple of any other integer, rational, or real number. The following are some basic, elementary, rules for dealing with the number zero. These rules apply for any real or complex number x, unless otherwise stated. Addition, x plus zero equals zero plus x equals x. That is, zero is an identity element, or neutral element, with respect to addition. Subtraction, x, zero equals x and zero, x equals, x. Multiplication, x zero equals zero x equals zero. Division, 0 slash x equals 0, for non-zero x. But x slash 0 is undefined, because 0 has no multiplicative inverse, no real number multiplied by 0 produces 1, a consequence of the previous rule. Exponentiation, x 0 equals x slash x equals 1, except that the case x equals 0 may be left undefined in some contexts. For all positive real x, 0 x equals 0. The expression 0 slash 0, which may be obtained in an attempt to determine the limit of an expression of the form f, x, slash g, x, as a result of applying the lim operator independently to both operands of the fraction, is a so-called indeterminate form. That does not simply mean that the limit sought is necessarily undefined, rather, it means that the limit of f, x, slash g, x, if it exists, must be found by another method, such as L. Hopital's rule. The sum of zero numbers, the empty sum, is zero, and the product of zero numbers, the empty product, is one. The factorial zero evaluates to one, as a special case of the empty product. Other branches of mathematics. In set theory, zero is the cardinality of the empty set, if one does not have any apples, then one has zero apples. In fact, in certain axiomatic developments of mathematics from set theory, zero is defined to be the empty set. When this is done, the empty set is the von Neumann cardinal assignment for a set with no elements, which is the empty set. The cardinality function, applied to the empty set, returns the empty set as a value, thereby assigning it zero elements. Also in set theory, zero is the lowest ordinal number corresponding to the empty set viewed as a well-ordered set. In propositional logic, zero may be used to denote the truth value false. In abstract algebra, zero is commonly used to denote a zero element, which is a neutral element for addition, if defined on the structure under consideration, and an absorbing element for multiplication, if defined. In lattice theory, zero may denote the bottom element of a bounded lattice. In category theory, Zero is sometimes used to denote an initial object of a category. In recursion theory, zero can be used to denote the Turing degree of the partial computable functions. Related mathematical terms. A zero of a function f is a point x in the domain of the function such that f, x, equals zero. When there are finitely many zeros these are called the roots of the function. This is related to zeros of a holomorphic function. The zero function, or zero map, on a domain D is the constant function with zero as its only possible output value, i.e., the function f defined by f, x, equals zero for all x in D. The zero function is the only function that is both even and odd. A particular zero function is a zero morphism in category theory, e.g., a zero map is the identity in the additive group of functions. The determinant on non-invertible square matrices is a zero map. Several branches of mathematics have zero elements, which generalize either the property 0 plus x equals x, or the property 0 x equals 0, or both. Physics The value 0 plays a special role for many physical quantities. For some quantities, the zero level is naturally distinguished from all other levels, whereas for others it is more or less arbitrarily chosen. For example, for an absolute temperature, as measured in kelvins, zero is the lowest possible value, negative temperatures are defined, but
but negative temperature systems are not actually colder. This is in contrast to for example temperatures on the Celsius scale, where zero is arbitrarily defined to be at the freezing point of water. Measuring sound intensity in decibels or fonts, the zero level is arbitrarily set at a reference value for example, at a value for the threshold of hearing. In physics, the zero point energy is the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical physical system may possess and is the energy of the ground state of the system. Chemistry Zero has been proposed as the atomic number of the theoretical element tetraneutron. It has been shown that a cluster of four neutrons may be stable enough to be considered an atom in its own right. This would create an element with no protons and no charge on its nucleus. As early as 1926, Andreas von Anthropov coined the term neutronium for a conjectured form of matter made up of neutrons with no protons, which he placed as the chemical element of atomic number zero at the head of his new version of the periodic table. It was subsequently placed as a noble gas in the middle of several spiral representations of the periodic system for classifying the chemical elements. Computer Science The most common practice throughout human history has been to start counting at one, and this is the practice in early classic computer programming languages such as Fortran and COBOL. However, in the late 1950s Lisp introduced zero-based numbering for arrays while Algol 58 introduced completely flexible basing for array subscripts, allowing any positive, negative, or zero integer as base for array subscripts, and most subsequent programming languages adopted one or other of these positions. For example, the elements of an array are numbered starting from zero in C, so that for an array of n items the sequence of array indices runs from zero to n, one. This permits an array element's location to be calculated by adding the index directly to address of the array, whereas one based languages precalculate the array's base address to be the position one element before the first. There can be confusion between zero and one based indexing, for example Java's JDBC indexes parameters from one although Java itself uses zero based indexing. In databases, it is possible for a field not to have a value. It is then said to have a null value. For numeric fields it is not the value zero. For text fields this is not blank nor the empty string. The presence of null values leads to three-valued logic. No longer is a condition either true or false, but it can be undetermined. Any computation including a null value delivers a null result. A null pointer is a pointer in a computer program that does not point to any object or function. In C, the integer constant zero is converted into the null pointer at compile time when it appears in a pointer context, and so zero is a standard way to refer to the null pointer in code. However, the internal representation of the null pointer may be any bit pattern, possibly different values for different data types. In mathematics, zero equals plus zero equals zero, both, zero and plus zero represent exactly the same number, i.e., there is no positive zero or negative zero distinct from zero. However, in some computer hardware signed number representations, zero has two distinct representations, a positive one grouped with the positive numbers and a negative one grouped with the negatives. This kind of dual representation is known as signed zero, with the latter form sometimes called negative zero. These representations include the signed magnitude and one's complement binary integer representations but not the two's complement binary form used in most modern computers, and most floating-point number representations, such as IEEE 754 and IBM S-390 floating-point formats. In binary, zero represents the value for off, which means no electricity flow. Zero is the value of false in many programming languages. The Unix epoch, the date and time associated with a zero timestamp, begins the midnight before the 1st of January 1970. The Mac OS Epoch and Palm OS Epoch, the date and time associated with a zero timestamp, begins the midnight before the 1st of January 1904. Many APIs and operating systems that require applications to return an integer value as an exit status typically use zero to indicate success and non-zero values to indicate specific error or warning conditions. Other fields in telephony, pressing zero is often used for dialing out of a company network or to a different city or region, 
and 00 is used for dialing abroad. In some countries, dialing 0 places a call for operator assistance. DVDs that can be played in any region are sometimes referred to as being region 0. Roulette wheels usually feature a 0 space, and sometimes also a 00 space, whose presence is ignored when calculating payoffs, thereby allowing the house to win in the long run. In Formula 1, if the reigning world champion no longer competes in Formula 1 in the year following their victory in the title race, zero is given to one of the drivers of the team that the reigning champion won the title with. This happened in 1993 and 1994, with Damon Hill driving car zero, due to the reigning world champion, Nigel Mansell and Elaine Prost respectively, not competing in the championship. On the U.S. interstate highway system, in most states exits are numbered based on the nearest milepost from the highway's western or southern terminus within that state. Several that are less than half a mile, 800 m, from state boundaries in that direction are numbered as exit zero. Symbols and Representations Main Article, Symbols for Zero The modern numerical digit zero is usually written as a circle or ellipse. Traditionally, Many print type faces made the capital letter O more rounded than the narrower, elliptical digit zero. Typewriters originally made no distinction in shape between O and zero, some models did not even have a separate key for the digit zero. The distinction came into prominence on modern character displays. A slashed zero can be used to distinguish the number from the letter. The digit zero with a dot in the center seems to have originated as an option on IBM 3270 displays and has continued with some modern computer type faces such as Andale Mono, and in some airline reservation systems. One variation uses a short vertical bar instead of the dot. Some fonts designed for use with computers made one of the capital O digit zero pair more rounded and the other more angular, closer to a rectangle. A further distinction is made in falsification hindering typeface as used on German car number plates by slitting open the digit zero on the upper right side. Sometimes the digit zero is used either exclusively, or not at all, to avoid confusion altogether. Year Label Main Article, Year Zero In the BC calendar era, the year 1 and NBSP, BC is the first year before AD and NBSP, 1 there is not a year zero. By contrast, in astronomical year numbering, the year 1 and NBSP, BC is numbered 0, the year 2 and NBSP, BC is numbered, 1, and so on. See also. Zeroth, 0 as an ordinal number. Brahmagupta. Division by 0. Grammatical number. Number theory. Piano axioms. Sign zero. Gwalior Fort. Notes. No long count date actually using the number zero has been found before the 3rd century AD, but since the long count system would make no sense without some placeholder, and since Mesoamerican glyphs do not typically leave empty spaces, these earlier dates are taken as indirect evidence that the concept of zero already existed at the time.